Hello, hello! My name is Shreen Hindi, and thank you so much for stopping by on my video today! You guys, I'm rocking the space month. This has been my go-to hairstyle all summer, ever since it got warm, and ever since I did split hair. I've got blue and purple here, and I did another blue and purple look. She Glam actually sent over a brand new collection. This is the Wild Heart Collection, and they actually are donating money to help towards animal activism and all that fun stuff. Every color is 100% vegan and cruelty free. Each of these palettes is super affordable. It's like a little bit over $7. I went ahead and used the Finn Within palette. This one just spoke to me. Oh my gosh, it has these beautiful glitters in it, pinks and purples, and we got a little pop of like yellow and orange down here. I just thought this was so fun, so I wanted to play with the eyeshadow palette here today and do this look. So I'll definitely be using these in other videos. The palettes are absolutely gorgeous. I decided to go with my affordable eyeshadow. I'm going to be using an affordable foundation today. I'm going to be doing a wear test on the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. I'm so excited you can get these at Shop Miss A and this foundation is only a dollar and some change. That extra change it actually goes towards a donation which is really really cool. Yeah so a portion of the proceeds for this foundation specifically it goes towards kids education love that about that. So I'm going to be using a bunch of different $1 products here. I'm so excited. If you guys want to see how I achieve a little look here with some dollar products, just keep on watching. The A Plus Satin Foundation is a lightweight liquid formula that delivers a buildable coverage and a long lasting natural finish. I actually have a primer from them as well. This is the it says paw paw on the back. I don't know if you can see that cute little cat there, but this is the perfect filter face primer. So I'm going to go ahead and test this on one side. Oh, I don't know if that's too much. It's like not silicone-y, but it's not like a moisturizer either. And a friend of mine, Ivory Cherry, if you guys don't know who she is, she is an amazing beauty YouTuber. She actually reviewed all of this stuff already. So if you want to see a review on a different skin type, she has oily and acne prone skin. I have normal to dry acne prone skin. So if you want to see her thoughts on it, definitely check that video out. So got the primer to let that set in here. You guys know I like going with a Sigma F80, which is in my Sigma brush set. And I'm going to be using an Amazon beauty sponge today since this was probably one of the cheapest sponges that I have in my collection. So I'm going to use this and Amazon sponges are pretty readily available whether you have Amazon Prime or not. So it comes in like a little squeeze bottle. This one's in the shade Fair Ivory 302. And it comes in a little dropper here. Go ahead and use the sponge on this side here. I'm excited to see how this wears. Which side did I put the primer on? Put it on this side. <laughs> For a second, I had a moment. And I am having some active breakouts right now. I think I've just, since testing out a lot of different foundations, um, back to back my skin has been like okay enough is enough <laughs> it was doing all right and then I also got that time of the month so I'm breaking out a little bit nor more than normal this is definitely a little light for me but that's nothing a little bronzer can't fix but it definitely is looking dewy and luminous as you can see it's not doing the best of covering up some of this hyperpigmentation and obviously I have some bigger breakouts here I'm gonna go in with another drop oh and see how much coverage I can get and making sure to tap that in and since this is more of like a satin foundation the sponge will soak up a lot of the product yeah, this definitely is a little too light for me right now. All right, there we go on the sponge side. Let's try the brush and the primer on this side. All right, here is the brush side. Um, I don't know, it doesn't look the best on my forehead. It's just kind of like clinging to some of the texture. 
as you can see, but hopefully some setting spray will help with that. And here's what it's looking like on both sides. It's not looking the best, honestly. Not really a fan, who knows? Maybe as I wear it, it'll start to look a little bit better. I actually have two different concealers from them as well. Again, these are both really affordable. I think I'm gonna go in with the little bit darker one, Fair Ivory here. Oh wow, this concealer is like really thick. A lot thicker than the foundation. And I'm just gonna go in with the other side of my sponge. Blend that in. It's not looking the best under my eyes. I don't know. Let's go in with their translucent setting powder. This is the perfect setting powder. Oh, that is a lot of powder. All right, let's try and set the under eyes here. Definitely has a little bit of a white cast. I'm gonna set around my nose and my chin where I get oily. Yeah, it definitely has a white cast to it. Can you see? So it's not truly translucent, unfortunately. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Maybelline Superstay powder just to add a little bit more coverage, but not too much. I'm going with my Sigma powder brush here. I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. All right, it's looking a little bit better after I set it here. But here's what everything is looking like. I mean, for a dollar, what can you expect? I'm gonna go ahead and do um, my eyelashes, all that fun stuff, and I'll be right back with some of face products. I forgot to mention the time right now is two. 20 once I've set everything so I'm gonna say the wear test is starting at 220. <laughs> you can see the foundation is not quite matching but that's okay we're back we're here I have my Cara Beauty eyelashes on in the style A3 love my Cara Beauty lashes I've been using them like crazy and I have an affiliate link and discount code down below so please support your girl Cara Beauty is such an amazing brand. I love their eyeshadow as well. So let's go ahead and dive into these other products that I have here. I have a couple of face palettes. We've got this Flawless Shaping and Strobing Contour Highlight Kit. We definitely need some bronzing up in here, that's for sure. This one definitely looks like a contour shade, and this one looks like a bronzing shade. Oh, the contouring shade. Whoa. Oh, that is way more pigmented than I expected it to be. I'm going to have to tap that. <laughs> I'm tap that off a little bit. Okay, it's thankfully not showing up. As a dark, I'm just going to contour a little bit, give my face some shape, and then I'll go in with some bronzer. But yeah, you see this? No, it's not matching at all. Maybe when I was a little bit paler. <laughs> right, let's try this bronzing shade. Oh. <laughs> I have this highlighting palette. This is the Majesty Highlighting Palette. Let's go in, I don't know, this, let's try this purple highlight. Ooh! Definitely has a little bit of a purple tinge, but not like too bad. And then I have a little blush as well. This tiny little blush in the shade, it's just called Perfect Blush. There's no name or anything. Bringing some color back into my face. And then I have a lip color as well. This is the AOA Velvet Lips lip color here. This is in the shade Luma. It actually goes with... Oh, this is really dark. <gasps> now I'll try and like blend it out. Mm, but it dried down like it feels really comfortable. I'm actually gonna go on top of it with my Sigma lip oil. Love these as well. There we go. What do we think? The time is now 2.33. I'm actually gonna set it with some Gerard Cosmetics setting spray because it was looking a little 
achy but here is everything it looks a lot better with the setting spray for sure but the color is obviously a little bit off but actually it doesn't look too bad I mean when you think about it this is a dollar and some change and if you're on a budget shop Missé is the place to go they're cruelty free and like I said a portion of usually uh, some of the products goes towards like some kind of charity or something which is really really cool so you know you're getting it for a good price and a good cause let's go ahead and wear this throughout the day and see how it ends up looking and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit <laughs> Hello, hello! I'm in the car right now, so I wanted to show you what the foundation is looking like. It's definitely pale as I'm looking into my mirror <laughs> in the car, but oh, my car is struggling. I don't know what is going on. Ah. Oh my gosh, my car is struggling. But anyway, here's what it's looking like. It's almost three o'clock, so I haven't had the foundation on for too too long but hopefully you can see kind of what it's looking like I'm breaking out more on this side of my face and everything but yeah I'll check in with you guys in a little bit